let's talk about how you actually formulate an interesting research question. As you already saw in the last video, whether a research question is interesting or not depends on how it is embedded in the research literature. Now the problem that we face here is that the research literature is pretty big, and probably way too big for you to read through it in its entirety. But we do need to read through it to some degree, in order to get an idea what kind of research question could be interesting. So how do we do this? And the way to go is to first narrow down the research literature up to the point that he can actually manage it and read through it. Then within that subpart of the literature, you come up with a question that is an important novel entirely. So here's what I propose to do. In the first step, you just pick a research topic, just a general topic that you like. Doesn't matter what it is. The only important thing is that it's a topic that you genuinely like. Because you will spend a lot of time on this research project and it makes it only easier if you actually find your research topic interesting. So this could be anything like leadership, depression, gender equality, or whatever you find interesting. Then in the second step, you take that topic and narrow it down further until the literature becomes manageable. So for example, rather than reading the whole literature on leadership, which is probably way too big, you can look at the literature on the influence of leadership on business growth. Or instead of depression, you could look at the influence of therapy acts on depression. Or instead of looking at the literature on gender equality in its entirety, you could look at causes of gender inequality. So narrow it further down until you've narrowed down the literature so much that you can actually read through it and get an overview of the literature. And then in the third step, you can read through the literature and try to formulate a research question that is important, novel and timely, based on the literature that you're focusing on. And there's no need to overdo this. The goal here is really not to write a whole literature review. But the goal here is simply to get an idea what the embedding of your research question could be in the research literature. So just writing a few sentences like you saw in the last video is already enough at this point. Remember that we don't want to spend weeks formulating your research question, only to discover later that we can actually answer it. So let's just get a general idea of what the embedding could be. Then we move to the research methodology and ask whether we can actually answer that question. Okay, so the key lessons of this video are to formulate an initial research question. Pick a broad research topic that you like, narrow it down until you can handle the literature, and then formulate a research question that seems important, novel and timely based on that section of the literature. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video we're going to move into the methodological aspects and have a look at what makes an answer compelling. I see you in the next video.